Hey everybody, welcome back to Sam Can Do. I'm a mom, I'm a maker, and I have been MIA, and I'm also still a Glowforge enthusiast, but I just wanted to first, here's a timestamp of when the actual video starts about what I made today, but come back and just say hello. I have been gone for a while. I am sorry. I, you know, I had a lot happen over the past year. Um, I got divorced. I left my dream job. I had, um, a lot of changes in my life, becoming a single mom and an entrepreneur for full time, which I intended to be this as part of it. Um, but I also was pursuing a dream, which I still am, of opening up a cannabis company. And during that, I had some unfortunate regular old entrepreneur things happen. Um, and so I was hoping to focus on that and come back to this but things taking longer. And so I'm here, I'm doing it myself. I'm editing myself. I'm, I was hoping to pull in some help, but I just want to say, I miss this channel. I miss you guys. I miss the support. And I'm sorry if anyone was disappointed when I stopped making videos, when I stopped making crafty chats, because we're still doing things and things are still happening. But, um, yeah, it's been a hard year. So I'm back. <laughs> and so I appreciate um, since I haven't been consistent, if you wouldn't mind liking this video so that people see that I exist again. Um, but today I made something really cute because I thought it'd be a cool opportunity to tell you about my hemp and cannabis dreams because I hope that some of you were interested in it. Um, I fell in love with cannabis, the plant, because of medicinal use for my own PTSD um, and anxiety and also insomnia. But one thing I realized once I started using it was how much cannabis has so much... Um, let's see, what would I call it? The discrimination that comes against this plant and people who use it as medicine. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you know all of this because it's all over my Instagram, but I haven't promoted it here. Another thing is that the cannabis industry is completely almost all operated by men. Um, there are not very many women in the cannabis industry at all who are in leadership. And a lot of it is really sad because it's a, it's an industry that you can't really talk about without talking about inclusion and honoring people of color who really created the culture around this plant, this beautiful, beautiful plant. And so I uh, decided that I wanted to take a little logo I designed that is not, we're not using it for the company I made, um, but take it and create it in this little logo that says the future is female flower because I live in Texas and female like the full marijuana is not decriminalized. It is still a schedule one, you know, and federally it's still schedule one. It's, it's not federally legal. Um, and I don't want to get too much into that, but it's dumb. And also the female part of the plant is the one that is marijuana. The other one's hemp, which is legal. And, um, yeah, and females aren't really enough involved. So I designed this little logo that says the future's female flower. And I also created um, I wanted to make it into a beautiful little keychain that I could take to events and give to other female entrepreneurs. So I created it in Adobe Illustrator. I made sure that the outside was SVG lined. And anytime you use letters in Adobe Illustrator, make sure you say create outlines because that's gonna help you engrave it. For some reason it won't take if it's just text. And then I decided to do my first draft on Walnut. And it was kind of funny opening up the Glowforge. I felt like I was dusting it off and saying hello to an old friend. Um, I put in the walnut and I did the first one and I think I, I, I don't know how I messed it up, but I had the letters going like in a circle and it just looked weird. So I flipped it um, and this is what I came up with. this little token, and I'm gonna try it on a couple other materials as well. Now, another tip for doing stuff like this, I actually bought a uh, template on Creative Market for like cool logos, and then I made this on Canva. If you're not using Canva, it is such a cool tool to make things um, that you can use on for your Glowforge. I love Canva, I love Creative Market, and the future's female flower. So I'm here, I'm back. I'm open to suggestions for projects, but I am gonna be introducing some things that I am passionate about in the world of cannabis, so some items. I hope that that's okay. I appreciate people who stick with me through the growth of my person. I've lost a lot of people as I've walked through life and um, 
The cool thing is, is I want people who want to be around. So if you want to be around, I want you around. And if you don't want to be around, man, I just bless you with peace and joy and a happy life because I don't own anybody's time and nobody owes me nothing. But for those who want to share, I'm so grateful. So I hope you enjoyed this tiny little mini video project and I will see you soon because we're back, baby. We're back. Also, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and also, if you want to save five hundred dollars on a Glowforge, there is a link. A, uh, you know, it exists. So, <coughs> sorry. Uh, hello, I'm Sam. Nice to meet you.